Hello, Lamar University. Uh, my name is Tricia. I'm one of the group fitness instructors at Lamar University uh, Rec Center. Today, I'm going to do a total body conditioning class that'll work all our muscles from head to toe. You just need water. I would turn your thermostat down. Uh, Y'all can play the music of your own choice. You need a mat, a chair, uh, light hand weights. Uh, if you do not have hand weights, you could use canned goods, water bottles. Um, the first exercise I will demonstrate, and then we'll warm up. Uh, we're going to scissor our legs up and down. So you're on your back. If you want to have your shoulders lifted off the ground, you're just going to scissor. And you're keeping your uh, belly button, your back, to the floor, then come back up. If this is too hard, don't go as low or rest your head down. So after we warm up, that's the first exercise. The rest of them, when we're resting for 20 seconds, I'll explain the next exercise. Um, we will warm up. So thank you all for joining me. So I'm just jogging softly. This workout should be pretty... Uh, apartment friendly, dorm friendly. And if you jog on your mat, that's going to soften the sound. So it's just a little small jog. Uh, reach to the back wall. Step touch. Good. And then reach forward. I'm at start moving. Okay, good. And then reach across real big. Exaggerate the reach. Reach overhead. Feel the stretch in your side. Make an L arm for a little more. <laughs> reach across. You can try to push that back heel to the floor. Uh, side lunges. Weight is in my heels. Pulling my belly button towards my back. Roll your wrist. Reverse that. Roll your shoulders to the back wall. That feels so good. Let's switch. My opposite hand is reaching towards my opposite foot. These are little. Good. And this is about a 45 minute class. If you are short on time, uh, you don't have to do all three. We're doing three circuits. So you could do two circuits. Roll your arms to the back wall, but just make sure you cool down at the end and stretch. You could just go around one. There's 10 exercises in a circuit. Uh, we work for 40 seconds. We rest for 20. Shake out your neck. Shake out your arms. Okay, so we're going to go back into that little jog. If y'all or if y'all are... Um, don't have downstairs neighbors. Y'all could pick up your knees, pump your arms a little bigger. So now it's like high knees. I don't have any neighbors, so I can go loud. Okay, now I want y'all to kick your booty. So it's like your heel is being dropped towards your glutes. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And now jumping jacks, y'all can, or both, breathe. Okay, shake everything out. I'm going to get a sip of water. If y'all feel like I'm, I'm hot, if y'all aren't warm enough, pause the video, keep jogging, warm up, uh, turn on your music if you want music. So, let me get my timer. I'm using my phone instead of the tablet. 
tablet. So we're on our back and we're doing the scissor. We've got five seconds. So you're just scissoring up and down or lift your head. Uh, make sure your belly button is pulled towards the mat. If you feel an arch in your back, if you go too low, don't lower your legs as low. If that's too hard, y'all can lower your head. Working our abs. Okay, so y'all are going to rest for 20 seconds. I'm just going to explain what we're going to do next. Um, we're doing arm pulses to the rear. This is a, we're not using any weights. We're just pulsing like this, and I, I raise my hand. They're small. I'm just pushing my palms to the back. So here we go. Just push, 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 push. Raise your arms about shoulder height. Come back down. This would be hard to do with weights. Little, they're it's tiny, but you should be feeling it. So pulse those arms. Y'all are doing great. <laughs> Woo! Why do these little, tiny, little, tiny moves hurt the worst? Y'all should be feeling this in your arms. See, you don't need weights. You can just, your arms are heavy enough. Shake that out. Ouch. Okay, <laughs> that hurt. Okay, y'all can pick up your light hand weights if you have them. And we're going to do a W with our arms. And when I pull down, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. So my elbows go towards my waist. Okay, here we go. So W and then squeeze right there. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Weights are optional, knees are soft, and breathe. Good job. So W, and then squeeze those shoulder blades. W, squeeze. W, squeeze. Ooh, and I'm using fives and they're heavy. Breathe through it. Shake out your arms again. Shake out your neck. Okay. Curtsy lunge with a squat. So I'm just doing, and we're doing one side. So curtsy lunge and then squat, and then we'll do the opposite side the next round. Curtsy lunge, squat. Weight in your heels. And then squat. I'm doing good. So curtsy lunge, and then to a squat. Weight is in my heels. I can see my toes. I'll check to make sure, yes. You don't want your knees to go over your toes. If you find that you can't see your toes, push your booty to the back wall. Y'all should be feeling this. Woo! Oh, my. Okay. Hang in there with me. We're doing great. Good job. So the next round, y'all are just going to switch legs, switch direction. So get a sip of water. Ouch. Okay. We've got 10 seconds. And then we're going to switch. Let's start over here. So make sure you switch legs. Weight in your heels. Woo. The first few don't really hurt. Okay. <laughs> but once you start doing them a while, then it's going to, I'm feeling it. You just curtsy back that same leg and then do a deep squat. Y'all should be feeling these. Breathe through it. We've got seven seconds. 
So we're almost there. Let's do one more. Oh, ouch. Okay, shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. Good job, y'all. Hammer curl to overhead press. These are eights, but weights are optional. I'm just doing a hammer curl overhead press. Back down. So the weights go up towards my shoulders. I press up. They come back down. I go down. So hammer curl overhead press. If you don't have weights, just squeeze those muscles. Water bottles, canned goods would work if you want to add resistance. And we're also pulling our belly button towards our spine. My knees are soft. Good. We've got five seconds. Shake out the arms. Okay. Uh, sumo squat with calf raises. So weights are optional. I'm just grabbing an eight. So squat and then raise up on your calves. Okay. So squat up, down. Y'all can just go up and down like this. Now, you could pulse. That requires balance, tight core, or just go up and down. So, y'all pick, play with it. You could do one calf at a time and pulse. Other calf, pulse. Okay. So, y'all pick how you're going to do this. Y'all can go up and down or stay up and pulse one leg at a time. <laughs> One calf at a time. Woo! Okay, good job. Shake out the legs. Carefully place your weight down. Let's see. Okay. So I'm pick, choosing light hand weights. I'm just hinging forward with flat back cross. And as I come up, I open wide and squeeze my shoulder blades together. So cross down with the flat back, open wide and squeeze. Good. Cross down, open wide and squeeze. Y'all could speed these up or go at my pace. You should feel these, this in your hamstring, your back, your shoulders, chest. Good job. Okay, shake that out. Breathe. Okay. So we're to tricep dips. I hope I told you you needed a chair. Okay. Um, a mat and a chair. So you're just going to hold the edge of the chair. Take your honey off the chair and dip up and down. You could put your chair on the mat just so it doesn't slide. The further your feet are away from your chair, the harder it is. Y'all could stay down and just pulse or just go up and down. Breathe y'all through these. So you could just stay down and pulse. And the next time I'll put the chair on the mat because mine's slipping a little bit. Come up. That's the exercise that'll make your arms, your triceps will probably be hurting for like two or three days. Okay, so now we're just to pulsing squats. I'm going to get a sip of water. So weight is in your heels. You should be able to see your toes. Okay. Uh, feet shoulder width apart. So I'm just going to pulse down here. Y'all could just stay down here and pulse. Or you could pulse for three and come up. Or pulse for four. Pick your favorite number. And then come up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Or you could just stay down here. Weight is in my heels. I'm looking. I can see my toes. 
if you can't, you don't want your knees going over your toes. So if you can't see your toes, push your booty to the back wall. You're also engaging your core here. Belly button's being pulled towards your back. Woo! We're just pulsing up and down. Okay, so we've made it through the first round. So we're back to scissor kicks. Um, with that pulsing squat, you could add a hand weight. That's an option. So we've got seven seconds. We're back to the scissor kick, so y'all can just chill for a second. Okay. Now y'all can work. Okay. Woo. So now that y'all know what we're doing, y'all can really focus on squeezing your core. Focus on each exercise more. Y'all should be feeling these. Goodness. Okay. Hug your knees to your chest. Okay. Let me see what the next one is. I don't have these memorized yet. Okay. Arm pulses to the rear. So that's the one we're just going up and down with our arms. To breathe, y'all. Y'all ready? Okay. So tight core. These are small. I'm just pushing the palm of my hand to the back wall. Then I come back down. Little, little, little. And go back up. The tiny, it's a tiny movement, like tiny little pulses. And this is the one that burns. Woo! Good job, y'all. Okay, shake. Roll your wrist. Shake out your arm. Shake out your neck. Good job. Get water if y'all need it. So we're to the W arms where we go like a W, then we come back down. And squeeze. Okay. So W, come back down and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And your elbows are coming to, towards your waist. So when you come down, squeeze right there. And hold for a second. Squeeze, hold. Reach up. Squeeze. Good job. Squeeze those back muscles. Squeeze. So think of squeezing your shoulder blades and hold it, that bottom right there. Good job. Shake out your arms. Okay. And we are to, already to the curtsy lunge on one side with a squat in the middle. So y'all pick your side. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do my right leg back. And then come to the middle, then the same leg goes back. Just keep doing that. As far, the first two or three don't really hurt <laughs> until Till you keep doing this and then you're going to feel that burn. So think of engaging your core. That helps with balance. You're pulling your belly button towards your spine, your back spine. I am feeling the burn. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Switch sides. So you're going to do the, I'm, I'm going to do my left leg. Y'all pick the opposite. <clears throat> Make sure y'all are drinking water and at least drink after this class. Tight core. Okay, here we go.
Good job. The more y'all do these various classes, the more you're going to see results and changes in your body. And doing weights and strength training is good for our bone mass, our muscle mass too, but it really helps with our bone density. Breathe, y'all. Ouch. Wait, we gotta... Yes! Okay. Woo! <laughs> Man, I felt those. Okay, so we are to hammer curl, overhead press. So pick your size weights. So hammer curl, overhead press. Okay. Hammer curl. Up. Good. Squeeze those biceps when you come up. Good job. I'm also pulling my belly button towards my spine. My knees are slightly bent. I'm breathing when I push up. So inhale right there. Exhale. Good. Good job. We've got four seconds. Good job. Carefully place your weights down. And let me see what we're doing next. Sumo squat with the calf raises. So remember, y'all can do both calves, one calf at a time. You can pull. You can grab a weight. You've got four seconds, okay? <laughs> so y'all could go up and down, like down, calf raise, come back up, calf raise. Y'all could stay up here. You, pulse is optional. You could do one leg at a time and pulse or not pulse, okay? So y'all y'all choose how you want to do this. It's really good for balance. So my core, I'm pulling it towards my back. Otherwise, I'd topple over. And just see me pulsing just a little. And the weight is optional. You don't need this weight. You're going to feel it in your thighs and in your calves. Come up. Yes. Good job. Okay. So we're going to cross our arms at the bottom and then open them wide. So lean forward with a flat back, and then when you come up, squeeze. Okay, y'all ready? Let's do it. Yes, we can. So I'm squeezing at the top. I'm also squeezing my glutes when I come up. Breathe, y'all. I feel like my hamstrings, too. Squeeze those glutes right here. One more squeeze. Yes! Good job. Ooh, I think we're going to feel this in our arms. Okay, we are to tricep dips. This time I'm going to place my chair on my mat. It was sliding a little bit. Plus y'all couldn't see me better. So just up and down y'all. If you want it harder, you can walk your feet out. You'll feel it more. You could stay down here and pulse. Then you're really going to feel it. I'll pulse, but I'm bringing my legs in. Or up and down. Squeeze the back of your arm muscles. And breathe. We've got 10 seconds. So I might pulse the last 10. Like I said, this one, you'll probably feel for a couple days. Oh, it's one of the best ones for triceps. Okay, so move your chair out of the way. Pulsing squats. If y'all want to add a weight this time, you could. You don't have to, though. 
So feet are like hip width apart, shoulder width apart. It's a narrow squat. Weights in my heels. I'm losing my balance. Okay. So I really need to engage uh, my core. Weights in my heel. You should be able to lift your toes up in your shoes. You could use two weights and have one on either side. I'll do that the next time. <laughs> so it's just a little tiny pulse up and down, up and down. Burn out those quads, burn out the glutes. Breathe. Four seconds. Oh. Now, the, <laughs> that hurt. The good news is we are to our final round. So we're back to the scissor kicks. For our abs, get a sip of water. Get in position. Y'all can chill for a second. Breathe. So the first two rounds went fast. So this one should go fast. If that's too hard, y'all can lay down. Ten seconds. Ah, oh, okay. Come up. <laughs> okay. We have got this, y'all. We are working hard. Okay. So we're to our arm pulses to the rear, this one. So if y'all need a sip of water, now's the time to get it. Okay, I'm thankful I turned my thermostat down because it's hot in here. I turned mine down to 68. <laughs> oh, such a tiny little move. Feel the burn. Hang in there with me. Yes, we can do this. <laughs> we are strong. So hang in there. Keep going. Little, tiny, tiny, tiny. Come back down. Oh, ouch. But that was the last one of those. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, W arms. I guess I'll go back with my fives. <laughs> So tight core, you're pulling your belly button in. <clears throat> Two seconds. So W and then squeeze when you take the, your elbows down towards your waist. Tuck your bum under. Tight core, you're pulling your belly button towards your back. Squeeze. Just hold the squeeze right there. On your exhale, inhale, exhale. Good job. Oh, we're gonna be feeling this tomorrow. I'm convinced. Woo! Good job. Shake out those arms. Shake out your neck. Get a sip of water. We are to curtsy lunges with a squat. on one leg. So y'all pick. Breathe. Y'all ready to do this? Come on. <laughs> Good. Push that booty back. Weight is in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes and your shoes. Now I feel it sooner <laughs> I'm sore from the first two rounds, so I do feel it right from the beginning. But we're strong. We're LU strong. <laughs> Good job. We've got five seconds. And 
then y'all are going to switch legs. Get us out. Get a sip of water <laughs> if you need it. Shake out your legs. And we're just going to switch sides. Woo! Okay, we've got five seconds. Okay, so the opposite leg. Don't make the mistake of doing the same leg. Bend those knees like you're doing a deep curtsy. Last round, y'all can go deeper, right? <laughs> Engage your core. Strong core helps with balance. Oh, this is a good workout because I am feeling it. Ooh. Okay, y'all, one more. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are to hammer curl to overhead press. So weights are optional. Pick your weight. Ready? Hammer curl <laughs> press. Good job. Breathe through this. I'm going to exhale right there. Inhale. Exhale. We've got 15 seconds. Oh, I'm so glad to put those down. <laughs> okay, we are in this together. Uh, sumo squat with the calf raises, weights are optional. If you're having a time, difficult time balancing, you might not want to use the weights and just focus on your balance. So notice my pulse is just little. Up and down. You could just hold and eliminate the pulls. So y'all have to play. Remember, y'all can do one foot at a time. If you don't feel like you need any calf training, you could keep your heels down and just pulse in the sumo squat. I'm losing my balance. <laughs> Good job. Five seconds. Okay, that was the last one of those, so yay. Okay. okay, we are to cross the arms at the bottom, open them up wide at the top. And you lean forward with a flat back. So you're hinging forward at your hips. Here we go. And then. Squeeze right there. Pull your belly button towards your back. Squeeze. Cross. Open. One more squeeze. Ouch. Whoa. Okay, y'all. Tricep dips. Okay, so we've got two more exercises. This and one more. So if you want, you can put your chair on your mat. Just chill for a second. Okay, work. <laughs> that chill time goes by fast. So since this is the last one, I think I'm going to put my feet out a little bit further. Oh, squeeze at the top. Squeeze the back of your arms at the top. Oh. 
breathe, y'all. Y'all could pulse. If I'm going to pulse, I'm going to bring my heels back in. Oh, goodness, we're done with those. Hallelujah. Okay, y'all. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. We're to the last one. I just don't remember what it is. Pulsing squats. So I told y'all this time I'm going to grab two uh, eight pounds. So no weights. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squat and they're on either side. Y'all could use one weight in the middle. So weight, I don't know if y'all can tell my toes are up. Weights in my heels, I can, my toes are lifted in my shoes. I'm just breathing as I pulse. This is our last exercise. Woohoo! Yay! Job well done. I always say, yes, we can. We can do this. We can change our bodies. We can be stronger. You're giving yourself some me time. Oh, yes. Come up. Ah, so our workout is done. Let me stop our timer, and then we will stretch and cool down. Okay, get a sip of water first. I think I like my phone timer better. I'm going to get two sips of water. So now we're just going to take our heart rate down. And uh, I am rolling my wrist. Since I held those weights, I'm going to reverse. Just step touch. Okay, I'm going to take my arms like I'm swimming to the back. And just a nice step touch. Now this part should feel really good. This is, and I'm going to reverse. So now I'm doing the American crawl. I'm swimming forward. Reach across. Big. up and over. Y'all can just breathe. Take your shoulder blades and as you um, kick your glute with your heel, you're squeezing those shoulder blades right there. Good. Let's just roll our shoulders to the back wall if you want to close your eyes. I'm going to reverse, I'm going to roll them, I'm, I'm exaggerating, I'm just going forward, breathe. I'm going to take my opposite hand to the opposite foot like we did at the beginning. Bicep stretch, I'm taking my hand out, I'm pulling my fingers towards back towards my knee, I feel the stretch right there. Breathe. Switch. Okay, shoulder stretch and neck stretch. I'm looking at my hand to stretch my neck and my shoulders. Just breathe through this. Just inhale and exhale. And then switch. Inhale and exhale. Okay, my hands are behind my neck. I'm going to look up at the ceiling and then bring my elbows towards the floor. And I'm arching my back. So arch one way. And then it's like you're pulling your belly button towards your back. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So stretching our neck, I, my earlobe is rocking from one shoulder, the opposite ear to the other. I like to close my eyes. Just notice how this feels on my neck. You're still breathing. Now I'm looking at y'all. I'm just tipping one earlobe to one side. I feel the stretch on the opposite side. And then I'm going to tip the other way. 
now I'm going to look at one shoulder, then glance at the floor, and I feel the stretch lower down in my neck. So I'm looking at the opposite shoulder. I'm going to peek at the floor to get that stretch. Okay, these are my bird wings. I'm going to reach out, look at the earth, and then fold my wings back as I come up. So I'm opening my wings, scanning the earth. Pretend like you're a bird. Open your arms, scan the earth. And we're going to go one more the other way. Good job. Okay, slide your hands down to above your knees. You're going to drop one shoulder and then the other shoulders towards the ceiling. Just hold that. And then switch. And then roll up like a cat. Inhale through your nose. Come down with a flat back. And then exhale, roll up, arch your back. That feels so good. Okay, inhale. Exhale, roll up. I think we should do one more. <laughs> inhale. Exhale, roll up. So I'm interlacing my fingers. I'm pushing my heads are my head is between my elbows, and I'm just pushing out and arching my back. And then come back up. Do that one more time. Okay, to open up your chest, just kind of pull your fingertips as wide as you can. And you're squeezing your shoulder blades. Good job. Let's do a side stretch. Breathe. Other side. So, um, let me scoot back so y'all can see. One toe is towards the ceiling. I'm just hinging with a flat back forward until I feel that nice stretch in, behind my legs. And then point your toe down, roll up like a cat, and then switch. Good job. Just feel that nice stretch up. Breathe. Point your toe down, roll up. Good job. Um, we will take it down to the mat for the stretch of the glutes. My glutes are sore right now. <laughs> They're hurting. So make a cross your one leg over the other. Reach through. Pull this leg towards your chest. And just enjoy that stretch. Y'all can breathe. Y'all could either flex and point your toes. You could roll your ankles in a circle. I'm going to reverse my circle with my ankles. If you find that this stretch isn't enough for this other glute, take this foot and tip it towards the floor and it, incre it intensifies the stretch on that opposite glute. So just breathe and enjoy that. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. One more deep breath in. And then exhale. So we're going to uncross our legs, switch across the opposite leg, and reach through, pull that leg towards your chest, and start breathing. You can flex and point your foot. You can roll your ankles around. You can do nothing, just hold the stretch. I like to roll my ankles, so I'm rolling mine. I want to intensify this, so I'm just reaching across that way. Good job. Focus on your breathing. And then my legs are like tabletop, my arms are like a T. I'm dropping my knees towards the floor as my head goes the opposite direction of my knees. Just breathe into this. It's okay if your knees don't touch the floor. Listen to your body always. So inhale, bring your legs up to tabletop. As you exhale, you're going to rotate your head and legs to the opposite direction, and if you want to close your eyes, 
Just focus on your breath. So inhale, bring your legs up. I'm going to bring my knee. Well, actually, I'm going to pull my knees towards my nose. Feel that stretch. And then I'm going to just rock my, my hips back and forth to massage out my back. We worked hard today on a Monday. I'm just massaging my back. I'm going to roll up. And I forgot to do the lunge, so we're going to do the lunge to stretch out the back of our calves. So I'm in a lunge position. I'm trying to push my back heel towards the mat. If you can't, just push as far down as you're able to go. So just breathe into this stretch. Just inhale and exhale. Okay, y'all, I'm tucking my hip under to do the tricep stretch. And then I'm going to switch. So I'm switching legs. I'm trying to push that back heel as close as I can to the floor. We worked our calves hard with those sumo squats and calf raises. I'm tipping this hip under the opposite tricep on my stretch. And then face me, y'all. We're going to inhale through our nose. Exhale, float your arms down. Make these big. Inhale. Exhale, and then open your arms like a V, and then give yourselves a big old hug that stretches our shoulders one more time. Open your arms, opposite arm on top. Give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a round of applause. Y'all make sure you drink water. Uh, get lots of water, and remember, uh, I think there's maybe four group fitness instructors doing these videos uh, online. You can go to the Lamar website and find us. Uh, I would encourage y'all to try different formats that you might not think you would like because you might discover you like something that you've never done before. And you're doing it in the privacy of your own home so no one is watching. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. I look forward to being live at Lamar sometime soon. Um, y'all have a great week. Um, I will see you soon. Good job. Thank you.